just thirsty for me. It's not a big deal. Oh, that is. And mean. I was just like, okay, I'm going to believe you, but I'm watching her ass too. You know what? I said the same thing to this guy mm -hmm. where I was like, you know what? You know, you're telling me that you guys are just friends. And boys. like the whole time I had like this intuition that was like, something is wrong. Yeah. And like, I would get me this too. like this sick feeling in my stomach. Yeah. Me too. Like, I, that's probably the hardest thing because when cheaters, it's like, you got to catch their fucking asses. But, you never do. Just but they make tell it, you. They make turn it around you and then make you seem crazy. One. <laughs> Stand up, girl. <laughs> not break the microphone. Hey, what's up? I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. And we're just a couple of Vegas girls. Living the not-so-Vegas life. Yeah, but we're not regular Vegas girls. We're cool Vegas girls. Girl. Kinda. And this is the Keeping It Casual podcast. Where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. Let's do it. I like when you sang it out. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that song. Stupid movie. <laughs> well, good evening. Good evening. It's MJ. Hey, and tonight. Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me with cookie in my mouth. <laughs> no, keep that. Sylvia. Keep Sylvia. That. Sylvia's in the house. <laughs> um, Sylvia is going to be our host. For the Alternative Babe Show, yes, but, which excited. is going to be at a pole fitness studio that is one of our big sponsors as well. Uh, dance and fitness for everybody, pole dancing, lap dancing, burlesque, all the sexy stuff. And for the whole month of October, $69 for your membership. And that is unlimited classes plus one free hour of practice time daily. Speaking of 69, polefitnessstudio.com. We got a special episode for 69 for you yeah, guys we do. coming in a few weeks. <laughs> now, let's go to our next sponsor, Alternative Dream Clothing. Woo! Woo! They make us very cool shirts. They though. do. They make shirts. They make accessories. Accessories. They make wall art. They're looking to do uh, phone cases. Phone cases. That yes. I, so I, I hope yes. that uh, that launches soon because yeah. I saw it and I loved it. Mm -hmm. She saw it. She liked it. She wants it. Yeah. Sylvia and I are the faces of Alternative Dream Clothing. Go to alternativedreamclothing.com and use code Keepers for the month of October to get ten percent off your purchase and free shipping. Also, check out their T-shirt of the month. All right. Let's take a second and do a cheers. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Like cheers. cheers. Oh. Bing, Listen. bing. And we are drinking <laughs> Angry Orchard Hard Cider Rosé. That was my recommendation. Okay. So Very good I recommendation. am a horrible drinker. I don't have like, I, I, I always drink like weenie drinks. Uh, That's okay. I was like, I'm so going to just roast her for like getting this. Cause I was like, Hey girl, what's your poison? You know, I'm getting dinner and getting stuff together. You know, I'm thinking like, she loves margaritas. She'll probably just say tequila. She's like, I want this. I was like, the what? <laughs> <laughs> no, you thought she didn't say Zima. <laughs> I was like, oh, I the angry or it's delicious. Though. I know it's delicious. It's like a fruity strawberry Fancy, Apple yeah, it's like delicious kind of drink, like a, almost wine coolery. Yeah, of course. Like I don't <laughs> it care. Is. I think it is a wine cooler. But we did. I, 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 I'm, I gonna, I'm gonna take my 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 good drinker card back. We did a tequila shot. We yes. did. So yeah. we got some horny toes. Which is why I had a hard time getting through our sponsors. Sorry, guys. That's um, <laughs> but I think we, I, you know, we, we did, did pretty, pretty good. good. We yeah. did good. Yeah. Um, but I will say, I'm just really happy you didn't ask for White Claw. <laughs> I've never tried White Claw, <laughs> but no. I'm not basic bitch enough. For White Claw. I think all of the attention going to White Claw has turned me off to ever wanting to try White Same. Claw. Same. Yeah. MJ tried it and she said she wasn't well, a fan. We had some a couple weeks ago. I think my mom picked up some something at Costco or Sam's. <laughs> it was like, I don't know, mango and pineapple sparkling. Sure. Same thing of yeah. White Claw. Yeah. We, we made Paige th drink them. But is that, like, is that oh, like, oh, Zima, no, is that you, like your wine was cooler? The truly, yeah. Eh, yeah. Truly, yeah. It wasn't very good, but I will I will um, definitely give a nod to this uh, Angry Orchard. You're welcome. I'm not going to talk about the nose of it or anything <laughs> no, <but>. no no <laughs> we're not pros at this guys I maybe i feel like we should do like a wine tasting thing where we have to learn how to properly like do, do wine tasting. Yes, what do is wine. that word uh the, the uh, sommelier yes yes thank yes. god that you knew what i was talking about <laughs> I know. I, you know what that's right up there with like charcuterie like i learned that word maybe last year it sounds so fancy it's like a whole it's just like cheese it's, it's like, like a, a, cheese, it's a plate. cheese and meat plate did like you, did you not know <laughs> when we went over to when we went over to natalie's house remember how we made the cheeses oh, and sure. the meats and th th that's a charcuterie board oh it doesn't so it sounds like it sounds more dirty. fancy than, oh, than well, yeah. a meat and cheese plate <laughs> 
I'm bringing yeah. the cheese. You're like, oh, and then they show up. And you're like, you just brought cheese. They're like, it's a charcuterie board. You're like, bitch. <laughs> no, when <laughs> I do I a charcuterie oh, board, God. I go all out. You get the best kinds of cheeses. I made one over here that one oh, time, and it was delightful. I'm, I mean, I enjoy them. I just, now that I have to say it, I don't think I like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to say it. <laughs> all right, so Sylvia is on the show tonight. Yes. We have been wanting to get her on the show forever, but, you know, well, some stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> stuff I, I, happens. I, I want you to introduce yourself um, as well. But also, Sylvia and I and Brie, of course, we all work together at um, our past job as mm -hmm. radio DJs and another radio I'm station that does that shall remain nameless. Uh, but yeah, we all work there, and now we're moved on. I'm not. <laughs> I'm still there. Like, uh, <laughs> don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I need a job. We were we were moved on. <laughs> well, well, MJ and I, we 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 moved on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm at a different radio station, but <laughs> you uh, yes, and 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 I love I love Las Vegas radio. Love being rock and roll and alternative and all this stuff so these are the oh, this is sure. the alternative uh the alternative babe tour can be the most perfect place to mm -hmm. put you as our hostess with the most yeah for our five dollar show I five mean, dollar show costumes are you gonna wear a costume yes okay and okay i'm not gonna say anything is it okay scary pretty no it's pop it, it'll be cute okay. cutesy it'll be cutesy it's gonna be cute yeah okay. it's gonna be so cute. okay so um please inter introduce yourself though so uh my name is you. my name is sylvia and i've been in broadcasting like in radio for almost 10 years yeah and uh you can find me on instagram and twitter at it's the sylvia sylvia with a y and uh mm -hmm. yeah you can see all my nonsense on there i love it and we can hear you comp 92.3 uh saturdays three to seven and then sundays one to five i love it because i'm always in the car i sent her uh, a message the other day because she played tool yeah. and i was like i, I played I'm the new tool yes oh, uh, foreclosure yeah. Is no, it was a uh, fear inoculum. Fear yeah. inoculum. Yes. That's, yes. Whatever. <laughs> not radio enough. anymore. I'm not going <laughs> to get it all up. But she played Tool, and then she played some Led Zeppelin. I was like, are you trying to get me, like, wet? What do you see? <laughs> and I said, of course I am. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to turn me on right now? Like, <laughs> like of course I am. That's Why the kind of vibe. I, I loved it. I love it. I love hearing you on the radio. But um, we're excited because we have a dope, uh, really juicy advice email that we've been saving because Brie and I just can't. We, it we, pissed me off. Yeah. yeah. Brie has been kind of uh, teasing me with it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very yeah, I've curious. been like, I've been like just putting the tip in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then pulling it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so dick good. jokes, so dick good. jokes. But but before we do that, we want to play the getting to know you, so people can get your vibe a little bit okay. as well. So, uh, right. do you want to kick it off? Brie? I do. Okay, okay, okay. What's Should I be an nervous? incredibly common thing that you have never done or learned? Um, I would have to say horseback riding. Uh, yeah. And actually, recently someone did invite me. I mean, it was a, he was a gay guy. But he recently invited me to his ranch, and he was like, I have horses. Why don't you come in a... Uh do horseback riding. I'm like, I've never been on a horse. I've seen horses. So because he was gay, it was like, where, what do you mean by all yeah, like, what, what do you mean by riding? <laughs> what do you mean by riding <laughs> the saddle? <laughs> like, oh, wait, oh, okay, okay. Never Am mind, I going to get saddle sore <laughs> in the good way or the horse I'm way? I'm not sure if this is a metaphor or you really have horses. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he does have horses, like, um, but he, he invited me and I was like, oh, that'd be so, that'd yeah. be so cool because yeah. I've never been on a horse. I've seen them. I petted them, but I've never been on one. What about a pony ride? That sounds dirty, but I've never <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Right. Shout out to the best baby shower ever. <laughs> you were at her baby shower. At her baby shower, we're 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 saying a prayer and blessing the food, and all of a sudden you hear, yeah. Oh, music was on low Let's in the background, it. and it was so genuine, <laughs> right? <that shit. laughs> and everybody's eyes just pop up and are like staring me down. We're I'm all like trying not to laugh <laughs> as her mom is blessing the food, and we're just like, oh no. Do you hit pause? Yeah. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. My no. mom was like, okay, hey, man. You know, she heard it too. She knew. <laughs> she knew. Um, but yeah, but I would. I would have to say horseback riding. What about you, Brie? Something incredibly common that I've never learned: editing. The editing. <laughs> Sylvia tried to teach me one yeah, day. I, I actually did pretty good, though. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's it's super easy. But yeah, I tried to teach Brie, and she she caught on like right away. Yeah, it's not fun. It's just you have to do it a lot to get <laughs> into the groove. Like, yes, you have to do it a, a lot. Practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's right. not that I haven't learned it, but you know what I really suck at baking. I'm a really good cook. Uh, I fucking hate baking, dude. Though. I, I was about to say that. Like. I, incredibly common thing like every time i've got to cook dinner i have a panic attack it just doesn't come naturally to me it's not i'm not oh. comfortable in the kitchen and it's a it's a I struggle i love cooking just, i just baking. i just thought that i cannot do pancakes 
<laughs> you know what? Yeah. It's really hard to make the perfect pancake. Yes, mm. it is. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. cannot do it. Like it, it either gets super burnt I'd, or yes. I'd much rather because we have a waffle maker. I'd much rather just do the waffle bat, the same batter, and yeah. put it in the waffle maker. Yeah, fuck Way those pancakes. Yeah, I'm if 30 you, years old. I can't do pancakes. If you, <laughs> I can't make pancakes. If either. you guys have a good pancake recipe, just shoot it to us. You know where the DMs are. I mean, all I do on Instagram anyway is watch the BuzzFeed Tasty videos. Like, watch them. Make and then you food. think you can try to do it, mm-hmm. and then it's like Pinterest fail. Oh, sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right, all right. Here's another one. Something you fucked up today. I didn't fuck up anything. I didn't, I didn't try anything. She didn't even fuck up her eyeliner, Unless you guys. mean, like, fucking up the day. Like, yeah, I crushed it. Yeah, I no, fucked it up. I, no, I, I had a pretty today. good day. I had a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll go with that. I had okay. a pretty good day. I didn't fuck uh, anything okay. up. Thank All God. right. Okay. All I, right. I, I got, honestly, I got the same feeling. I'm kind of like, you know what? Everything turned out yeah. as okay. I fucked up it's my funny. lunch because I ate Roberto's. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can never go wrong with Roberto's. Except uh, for it made me sick. So uh, I mean, for, for anyone out there who does not know what Roberto's is, it's basically... Uh, fast food Mexican it's del- but it's like real Mexican food it's not like taco is it Bell. real Mexican food it's not you, taco well, Bell. okay well it's, uh, compared to Taco Bell it's not Taco Bell but it is <laughs> delicious when you're drunk it's even better oh, Taco God. Bell is its own thing you yeah. can't even call it Mexican food it's yeah. just Taco Bell it's its own land you know what's it's funny not... my poor sweet Australian friend we were talking about Mexican food and he was like well Taco Bell is disgusting and I was like well Taco Bell isn't Mexican food yeah. so honey no. taco you're Bell from is its Australia it's okay <laughs> Oh, you're pretty. That's his idea of like what's Mexican food. Did, no, we, we none of us fucked up anything today. We're just no. bad bitches. Okay, yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> Live fast, die young, bad girls do. Okay, what is a job you would be absolutely terrible at? Salesperson. Ooh. Right away, hundred <laughs> percent salesperson because I am I'm not aggressive. And if someone's if I try to sell someone or something to someone mm-hmm. and they say no, I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Now what do I say? Now what do I do? What do I say? How oh, do I you persuade said no. them? Okay, bye. <laughs> like, how do I persuade them? Like, do like, yeah, I would be so horrible at salesperson. Cold call, no. If they're in the market for it, I fi- I think I could find a way. I think I could find a way. I'd be a terrible waitress though, because I f- Me too. forget shit. And the ones that don't write stuff down make me nervous. Like my fingers are going. I'm like, aha, and I went the- and don't. And are you ready? You should You're, write this down. They're like, I got, I got. You didn't like, say blue. You didn't write it down. Do you? You know, I want blue cheese on the side, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. My thing is like, if I'm like giving everybody their order, and I'm like, okay, anything else? They're like, no, we're great. Just that one person wants ketchup. Okay, but anybody else? And you're like, no. And then you go away to the kitchen. You come back and you give the guy the ketchup. Yeah. All right, guys. Go, oh, you know what? Can I have this? I'll be like, look. We just talked about this. <laughs> I have other. You're gonna wait. <laughs> Talk to, I would not be a good waitress. <laughs> no. So, yeah. I, waitress, no. But yeah, definitely sales what yeah. about you Brie? um waitress is probably one of them but uh i worked in retail for three months and i feel like i was i was good at it but i would be terrible at it now because i wouldn't have patience i worked at victoria's secret and i am going to tell you this i was 18 years old and that job tested my nerves in ways i never expected a job to test my nerves <laughs> You're like yay victoria's secret this is sexy and fun and i was like i get 40 percent off i'm gonna buy all this was, stuff was, were the, the girls not was it's, it the girls? It wasn't the girls I worked with. It was the customers. One time I walked. <laughs> they come in and think you're their, you're their sex therapist. Is this bra going to get me laid? <laughs> no. One no. time I wa- like a lady walked in and she was like, where are the bras? And I was like. <laughs> Look around you, lady. They're all over the place. <laughs> yeah. You're in Victoria's Secret. Welcome Which to great. Victoria's Which Secret. Which bra do I want? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was like, where are the bras? And I was like, uh, well, which bra are you looking for? And she goes, I don't know. My friend told me about your bra. And I was like, well, we have like 30 bras. What bra? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And it's just like that type of like, I do customer service still, but it was like that type of stupidity that I'm like, I don't have patience for you. It's hard. And you know, it's customer service in what area? You know, there's oh, you know all levels of degrees. Daycare. I don't think I could work at a daycare. Oh. That's another good thing. I, <laughs> I would, yeah. I would have those motherfuckers in line singing songs. And, but my kids would be, pow- my kids would be the only rebellious ones. When it comes to other people, like, like other kids, you lay, like lay down the law. Lay down the law. Those I, I kids, just, my kids are fine. Yeah, but. like I, they just fun. I have fun with them. But my kids, they're just like they'd be over there pouting. 
like right now. <laughs> like, I see She's looking through us at the window. All I see is a silhouette of her little top butt. Top yeah. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Next question. Okay. All right. What is something you wanted today but couldn't have? I wanted dick today, but I don't have it. Oh, you know what? I wanted to masturbate today, but I didn't have you time because the time. kids were like up my ass. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to masturbate when I get home now. You've inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> the light went off. <laughs> I was like about to, and I heard like, wah, mommy. I was like, fuck. Well, <laughs> you were like, I can't gone. use my mind. Things were quiet for like 15 minutes, and I was like in my room doing my thing. I was like, well, yeah, just close the door for like five minutes. <laughs> and then it was like, wah. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> God, that's so terrible. Oh, no. I wish I had uh, more money. Yes. That'd be good. (laughs) Yeah. Me too. Because I didn't get more money today. It's a good want for today. Uh. I got paid today and I was still like, I could could have some more on this paycheck. (laughs) A few more bucks. A few more bucks would be nice. Come down to me, please. I had my girlfriend Jane over earlier. I was like, what's something that you wanted today? She's like, time. (laughs) I was like, I hear that. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah. What's the most useless talent you have? I have um, double jointed thumbs. Me too. Yeah. Great. So that's like the the most useless. Yeah. Like I can. And you can pop it. We can all yeah. do it. But there's oh a pretty no, like, big. No, it could be like this. Can you yeah. spread your toes? Yeah. I can spread my toes. I can grab okay. things with my toes. I think we all got these. Which we I all think, have these talents. Which I don't know if like people with foot fetishes yeah. are gonna like dig this, oh, but yeah, like I can it. I can like. Pick I have some really stuff. crooked pinkies too. You? No, I do that. Too. I have that. I kind of have, have that, that too. Wait. Okay. Put how your how pinkies together. Yours are flush like mine. Look at Breeze. How they. T- curve out <laughs> so does do. my husband's and my kids like he was like oh, i hope the kids have the no, curved that's, pinkies that's, that's, that's my index finger so oh like, <laughs> you have to go like you know that's, it's not a it, talent to have it's you not, s- no, no, it's not a talent. i just wanted to point it out <laughs> <laughs> it is talent it's part of part you know of what my useless talent is it's part of your unique being able to talk on a microphone <laughs> oh god yeah Aww. there's a lot of participation trophies i've heard on twitter rants <laughs> from ignorant people <laughs> want podcasting useless oh, talent number right. 37 you guys we're just talking Exist- shit right now inside jokes <laughs> <laughs> Ex- this is our existential crises we've all been having recently so don't worry about us that's right okay. we're okay all right oh what's this okay so um i know i get sucked into instagram because i like to watch certain hashtags yeah what kind of hashtags do you like like to use and watch like what videos or what do you videos just suck you in on God, instagram it would, so I usually go for like the makeup ones mm-hmm. or like Halloween stuff. Ooh, really? But I am a hundred percent all dachshunds. Oh, like I, doggies! <laughs> it's like puppies, like dachshund puppies. That's so funny. I could spend like an hour just looking at like dachshund. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it is extremely random, I know, but this, yeah, but this is me. <laughs> My it's favorite. not like, it's not like hot guys or like, you know, sexy videos, no, it's fucking dachshund And I think this videos. is nice for guys to hear, because they, I think guys have such a guilty conscience because they know they're on Instagram looking at like booty videos and the girls are like doing squats in the gym. Oh, or like, for sure. They're looking at all the pervious shit we're over here like watching dachshund videos. I'm watching dachshund videos. What are you, what are you watching? My makeup tutorials. Makeup tutorials. Yeah. That's it. I do. I do. I follow hashtag makeup tutorials and then I follow wish, witch fashion. <laughs> Witchy fashion. But those That's are nice favorite. fashion. It's nice fashion. Are, is, yeah. You know what my other favorite hashtag is? Access to a mic. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You, okay. That's a lot of videos. <laughs> Here's what I love watching is um, I love watching the dance videos. The Yanis Marshall. Do you know oh. who he is? He dances in heels. He teaches heels cl- dance classes. If you follow his page or anything, hashtag Yanis Marshall, yeah. you will just see people dance into shit constantly. And I oh, get yeah. sucked in. I'm like, yeah, five, six. I don't know. Do you start counting like I counting do? To, like like five, I'm six, looking at. Seven, I'm like eight. I could do that move, and I could put. Uh huh. Yeah. I I I don't know. I get sucked in too late watching the dance videos and sometimes the cooking videos, Ooh. like little cooking videos. Yeah. The, we were just talking about how we all like to watch the BuzzFeed videos. Oh like yeah. The tasty do you, videos. Do you yeah. like save those? To, I do. Like, okay, you save them Only because you're like Pinterest. Yeah, because like I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make try that it one day, and then you never try it. Do you save it on Instagram? It's a fail. Yes, you can follow it on Instagram. Yeah, I'll show you how to save on Instagram. Oh my gosh! I'll make us I'll make us some categories on the Keeping It Casual podcast Instagram, and it'll just be like future drink ideas. <laughs> Teach me, young laddies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Brie. Oh, here's a deep one. Mm. She's if going. If you deep. are having dinner with both God and the devil, what's oh. the first question you would ask? How am I gonna die? Ooh. Ooh. You want to know? Yeah, I would want to know. 
Oh. Interesting. Wow. I don't know why. Because if they were like, you're going to die from a toilet seat hitting you in the head, you'd avoid all the toilet plane. seats. Well, then I would ask a follow-up question, like, how would the toilet seat be so far up, like, you know, <laughs> high enough to hit me on my <laughs> head? down from a plane. Am I, at, like, at Lowe's? And I'm, like, in the toilet seat yeah. section? <laughs> and, like, a random and, falls like, up. Yeah, just like, well, okay. Sylvia <laughs> will never be at Lowe's again. <laughs> no. No, I'm a more, I'm a Home Depot kind of girl. Yeah. So. <laughs> but no, I think. But my I, dad said that's where all the dudes are. <laughs> but I, I think, no, her dad really did say that. He was like, let me tell you something. If you want to meet a man, go to Home Depot. <laughs> Not Lowe's. Okay. Just those, guys can it. Fix things <laughs> those guys can fix things themselves. But I think I would want to die just, I don't know, like, to... To get in the back of my mind it? and like get ready for like mentally mm, prepare myself like really? I'm gonna I'm gonna make the most of my life I'm gonna do this do that do this and then if it I know how it's gonna happen I know when it's gonna happen and you, you know handle that I feel like it would give me major anxiety knowing how I, I was that's what die. I'm thinking I'm like I couldn't handle that it'd be like they'd be like you're gonna die by being stabbed and I would avoid knives for the rest of my life mm. I would I would I feel like I would have true paranoia I mm. I, mean, I probably would too but I think yeah. I would just want to know just to like like they just gave you a hint they're like toilet seat you're That's like what <laughs> Keep my eye on all the toilets. But no, I, I'm only peeing outside from now on. No. So we'd be like, what I got to toilet seat doing here? Like, what? She's gonna go around back because it's a whole thing. We'll tell you later. <laughs> I think I would want to know, just you know, just to to keep it in the back of my mind, and just because I'm all, I'm curious already, mm. and I get anxiety not knowing how I'm gonna die oh. or when I'm gonna die. Oh. So at least I know. I I wouldn't ask them anything. What I would do is bring out like the biggest joint in my pocket and be like. <laughs> Let's have a discussion. Like let's let's get along here. Let's We're laugh. Like, let's like, make friends between the two. Let's of you. talk about our favorite like, TV show. What, what have we all been watching lately? Like, and pass that around. What happened between you guys? Like let's let's talk Seriously, this guys. out. She yeah. would get she would she would get all therapist. Um, I don't know what I would ask God, but definitely I feel like I've already broken bread with the devil, and he was my ex boyfriend. Oh, so. oh, ouch! The British prick. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Oh, he was a definitely. He, I I I have always found him once the truth came out about him i have always found him to be the devil in disguise he was evil he was evil he was pure evil it's crazy how i mean we could all take so much advantage of each other there's so many yeah. but, it, but there's something inside of all of us that has this little switch that like our moral compass or whatever it is it's like you don't fucking treat people like that because also you know it's gonna come back to you but people that don't have that it's no scary. i think it's it's just uh they're selfish in the moment and they're just thinking yeah. about themselves and you know as as long as i for example like i'm i'm gonna cheat on my partner mm -hmm. Because I want this person, yeah, and who cares? because it, who cares? Because I'm gonna get laid. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna get benefit from this. Yeah. yeah. Well, holy shit! That's, that's like so a perfect ugly. segue into our uh, advice email. We can oh. come back to some more oh questions. Yes. Let's do it. But I did not mean for it to go there. Oh um, well. Then let's do it. Let's okay. settle in. I'm ready for it. The uh, subject line is: I think my boyfriend is cheating on me. Mm. It's the worst. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you this. Anytime like, it's cheating, I'm like, oh. MJ, MJ, and I, we we read emails that with the advice emails that we get and like we go back and forth and I was the one that read this and she uh, if I read it I'm like oh my god we gotta yeah. put it in the episode but I don't tell her what's in it yeah, yeah. one of we check it if I check it or she check whoever gets yeah. it sure. first but we don't share it with each other okay this email honest responses. got really under my skin it really pissed me off and it's not just because the person who sent it who asked us not to name her name Spelled my name B-R-I instead of B-R-E-E. -E. So. <laughs> well. <laughs> Homegirl. <laughs> Let's get this right. <laughs> now, MJ and Brie. And we're going to add Sylvia. She didn't know Sylvia. Sylvia. Oh, she didn't know she didn't know Sylvia was going to be here. Okay. <laughs> Listener out of Las Vegas, but I don't want my name to be given out because I am afraid some of your listeners will figure out who I am. Mm -hmm. I was afraid to write into both of you at first, but I feel like you will be my saviors and tell me what to do. Okay. We're here for you. I think my boyfriend is cheating on me. I don't really have a lot of proof, but I have a gut feeling in my stomach. I've noticed little things like him hiding his phone. He's even gone as far as to bring it in the bathroom with him, which he's never done before. Oh. One morning I walked into the bathroom and to shower and caught him jerking off to photos of his ex-girlfriend. What? Oh, no. Whoa, <clears throat> no. That hold on. Hold on. Don't feel bad for her. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. This hurt me in ways I didn't realize I could be hurt. He cheated on his ex-girlfriend with me. Oh, hell And then no. she found out they broke up and he and I have been together ever since. 
Oh, uh, I know I am also in the wrong. I convinced myself his ex was stupid and mean and didn't deserve and deserved everything she got. Sorry, guys, I've been drinking. I can read. <laughs> she was stupid and mean and deserved everything she got. Not because of what he said, but because of I looked at her social media a lot and she seemed bougie and I convinced myself she was a high maintenance bitch. I realize now I did that because I felt guilty. Cunt. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I I have a very hold on. Spot There's more oh. cheaters and yeah. that the like. There's more. Oh, yeah. I think oh, they are no. on the path to getting back together. Why oh. else would he be acting so suspicious with his phone? And why would I have caught him with her photos? Maybe I'm overreacting because I have a guilty no, guilty not. conscious of you're how not. we started. I thought about reaching out to his ex. Maybe if I apologize to her, it could get some. It could help some of my guilt. I love him and I don't want to lose him. Is there a glimmer of hope, or should I move on? Oof. I think. Oh, it got under my skin so bad. Yeah, yes, I Sylvia, think. Please. I <laughs> think you should move on because why are you going to be with someone who's just bouncing back and forth between two women mm -hmm. that he cheated on them with each other? Yeah. Why would you fucking be with somebody who you kn when your relationship started off as cheating anyway? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I'm right sorry. Away that you, why you, would you do that to another woman? Yeah. Why you, you kind of. Mm. Uh, I don't feel bad for her. <laughs> I, and I feel, See, this, I, this, I feel kind of bad saying that, but no, I don't feel bad don't. for you now. Well, and you know what it is? It's like this relationship seems like you're very suspicious. Maybe you have a guilty conscience. You have you have evidence of cheating him, catching yeah. him jerking off to his ex and shit. I think you need a clean slate. And the you whole need thing a, about the jerking off to the ex thing, that didn't bother slate. me as much as like everything else in the email. Oh, that was a big, that was the biggest red flag in the world to me. That's See, but like, to me, it's on. like, if I caught my, if I was in a relationship and I caught my boyfriend jerking off to porn i'm not gonna be like oh my god but that's personal porn yeah, yeah. that's like somebody he was in love with or with that's or true something. Yeah. that's true porn is another thing i don't know but it's I think, always like, weird you catch somebody jerking off you're like ah, I don't, oh you didn't invite me <laughs> whatever <laughs> what about me like what see, but, wrong see, with i guess, I, guess I, I guess i think of it differently <laughs> because it's like sometimes i'm like i just want to masturbate i don't even want to deal with you i just want to be by myself don't say masturbate come. to me okay it's tough, it's a tough subject today okay <laughs> <laughs> no but really like sometimes like you just want to like you don't even want your partner involved you just want to be by yourself and you're like leave me the because fuck you know what's going to happen you, it's yeah. it's straight to the point yeah and, yeah you exactly know. so but I mean, going back but to i this... also don't use pictures of my exes when i yeah. masturbate yeah. but going back to this email i think she should move on you know you're already you yeah. already got involved with a guy who was already with a woman mm -hmm. who had a girlfriend mm -hmm. like you're never going to trust this guy yeah. as much as you love the guy whatever it's you have to focus on yourself yeah because something is wrong with you to the point where like you had to go with another woman mm -hmm. or go with the guys who was in a God, mm -hmm. I've been drinking too. <laughs> <laughs> we all been drinking. I hear what but, you're saying. But yeah, but you, Go you with, went with you, that. You decided to start something with a guy who was with somebody else yeah. at the time. So something's already not right in there. So like, let the guy. Let do, him go. Let him go. Let him go. You know. And you know what? I think that's always going to be something in the back of your mind if you do start yeah, a relationship. She's never like going to be happy. I truly believe once a cheater, always a cheater. I, I think mean, every once in a while. But what about her? She was, uh, you know, she was in a relationship. Maybe she didn't have that. There's that that gray area where, like, she was in that relationship, but like, she's like, well, I wasn't cheating on somebody. No, 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 that, I'm talking about him. Some, that's right, a, but you were with somebody who was. So it's like that's, that's a gray a dick area. You can't you can't convince yourself because yeah. you're doing something wrong. You can't convince yourself yeah. yourself that you're doing something wrong. But you're no, it's fine because she was a bitch. Yeah, she was a dick. She was a cunt. She, whatever she, she was said about her. on social media. Yeah. God, yeah. yes, yeah. no. I, I, I like that she actually came to that realization. Like I was telling myself that because no, I had a guilty conscience. Like good that's for a step you, girl. forward. That is a step forward. Um, I think you need to go to some therapy because you are having some trust issues. <laughs> I think you deserve better for and yourself. You just, yeah, uh, for better for yourself, but like. Yeah. Don't fuck men in relationships, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. No. Don't but do it. Also, you can't get closure from that. Like, nope. you can't go to the girl and, uh, you know, I... apologize. Okay, let's all put ourselves in the ex-girlfriend's shoes, okay? You're, you okay. were cheated on. I, I, and the I, girlfriend... I can, I, can, I can speak honestly okay, from this. So, if, say, if, say the um, ex, ex wants to reach is... out to you and just be like, listen, I just kind of want to 
just say, you know, I, things have happened and I, I feel really bad and I think about you because I feel bad that you had to be. I mean, if that dumb bitch really said that I would, to me. I'm <laughs> very, very stubborn and I hold grudges. Mm-hmm. So if I was with a guy and he cheated on, well, I mean, I, that happened. Oh, but, yeah, really? Me too. But, you know, like a couple if, of relationships if, if ago. The girl, but if the girl, like if the girl came to me and said like, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. This happened. Mm-hmm. And I would be like, okay, cool. But fuck off. Oh. I I never want to talk to you You again. I think I would do in that situation, especially if it, if it, if it was hitting my most recent cheating situation, I'd be like, you know what? Let's go have coffee. Let's have a chat about what he said to me about you. (laughs) Yeah. Like that could probably go deeper. Screenshots of every bad thing he ever said about her. And I'd be like, see, well, this is what he's saying about you. So I'm assuming he's saying bad things to you about me. Let's have a fucking conversation and talk about what a piece of shit he is. Also, I hate you. Okay, so so the only way yeah. that pro- approach is going to work is when you break up yep. and you want to make amends to the ex-girlfriend who she's probably going back to. That's what you do. It's not a good I don't situation. even think I don't think don't that do I don't think the ex-girlfriend's going to take him back. I think he's yeah. probably like I think he's like, "Oh, I fucked up. I'm pining after this ex-girlfriend." Yep. And she's just like, "An ex-girlfriend is living her best life." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or maybe I'm just talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit about you, but that's okay. But you're relating. Mean, yeah, yeah, no, no, I do really relate to this. Like I I honestly don't think he's trying to get back with it. I think I think if I anything, think he's being a fuckboy. He's being a fuckboy. I For think sure. he might be trying to get back with his ex-girlfriend, but I'm pretty sure ex-girlfriend is like, mm, Yo, if I caught I, I anybody, if I caught any guy like I was with masturbating to porn, that's fine. But catch him masturbating to his ex, he's fucking out of here. Because it's Done. more personal. Because it is. Out, it's dude. a woman that he knows yeah. and he's, he's actually been with. Can I fucking tell you Just guys? Just knowing that, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah. a conclusion, Bye-bye. girl, break up with him. Yeah, move you on. love him, with your but boyfriend. move on. <laughs> move on. But you hold can't on. Say, I wanna... You can't say sorry to the ex. Yeah. You're going to have to go to therapy, do something, a... you know, Months, self-reflection. Yeah. Months yeah. fucking into my breakup. Mind you, I'd already found out he was cheating on me. She was going around saying they were in a relationship. He had messaged me, no, we're not, but they really were. Mm. Anyway, mm. I had to message my ex and be like, can you delete the videos we made? Uh, uh. And he still had them on his fucking phone. Mm. He was like, okay, yeah, I did it. Which oh. And then I talked to my guy friend, and he was like, he didn't fucking do that. He didn't delete them. In a new relationship, after having cheated on me, still had videos of us fucking on his phone. Hmm. What was he doing with those exactly? Well, going back to them when he was bored with the new chick. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, let, me, let me reminisce. Let me reminisce about that pussy. <laughs> let me tell you something, dudes. You ever like screw up a girl and it gets found out, your reputation is doomed. <laughs> anybody, especially if she anybody, has a podcast. Anybody in our, well, our especially if she has a podcast. Anybody <laughs> swimming in our shark pond is going to know and the word's going to spread. And so, speaking of sharks, what do you do when a girl is too close to you? <laughs> okay, we were talking about this the other night. Yes, okay, we were. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down briefly okay. so it's not too close. So you Bri have- was like, "All right," so she kind of fell into an Instagram rabbit hole. She's like, "I just kind of had to figure out this girl because." For some reason, she was liking people's stuff that I re- uh, that I still talk to and still know mm-hmm. somebody I hook up with. But she was also liking. But when I saw like who is this girl, she was also connected to a couple of other people that I have hooked up with and I know one I have not hooked up with, but still who's a very good friend of mine. So there's like four guys, three she's hooked up with, one is just a, a good friend, <laughs> and so she's like, <laughs> they're they're not like hooked up. She's, like, oh my god, she's like, I'm in this rabbit hole of this girl, and I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? So I had to reach out to the one friend I still talk to and ask him. Like I said, she goes, "Why do I even care about this girl?" I go, "Cause she's swimming in your shark. She's like a circle, like a shark. She's a shark shark circling my cocks." (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, "She fucking is." Have you ever done that on Instagram? Like maybe it's just a casual, like someone you know or like or interested in, and they're just like a ooh like, and they do a little comment, and all of a sudden you're like, "Who the fuck is this bitch?" And you dive deep, and you're like, "Oh, and she's friends with this guy and this guy," and it happens to be somebody that you've slept with. With maybe in the past he would be like what and then you're deep diving even more and you're like who is this woman 
<laughs> okay, please. Yes. Has this happened to you? No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so what is that line of like of of sinking in the Instagram like? It's so hole? funny because like all of a sudden she's fucking every man you've ever known. <laughs> like, oh, we have we we shared something. Like we're ew. Eskimo sisters. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. I, I don't like the person. Yeah. But, you're like, mm. but now we're connected somehow. <laughs> that's how Instagram. I mean, it, that's all it could take is just like somebody putting like little a little fire under some guy you're interested in like like his comments hey, that's like, how i fire. found out my boyfriend was cheating on me oh really what's his instagram comments that's how i found the girl he was cheating on me with wow not instagram uh facebook facebook it was mm. facebook facebook see guys we'll figure it out i told my fucking boyfriend mm-hmm. i said if you cheat on me you know i will figure it out and he was like it's oh too yeah easy. no no i'm not gonna do it and these then- bitches are like detectives oh. i mean like where no, for sure i think this generation like, yeah the, the it's so 20s, easy. 30s. Well, don't they're be very FBI. Friends with on Facebook with the girl you're fucking around on your girlfriend with. Every single girl. But then, like, all men are, some men are, you know, kind dumb. Of dummies. <laughs> dumb. But, but girls are smart because if they're interested in somebody or they like somebody, they're going to put their self and make themselves known. Just uh-huh. to be like, hmm, are any other girls over here? You know, oh, nice picture. I'm going to put a little kissy face there. That looks sexy. That's basically And then another girl is out. like, hey, that looks hot. And you're like, who is this girl? And that's, you're looking at this that's girl. That's how I figured out my ex was like, how I Because she was sharing. Well, his... she was sharing all of his shows, A. But B, how I found her was like, I would comment on his stuff like, love you, babe. And she would comment right underneath me every single time. And oh. I was like, who the fuck is this girl? Like, is this his sister? Click. <laughs> this is not his sister. Who the fuck is this girl? They don't share last names. <laughs> <laughs> well, his sister's married, so it was just kind of like, is this, is this your sister? This is not no. your fucking sister. And All of a sudden, you've got two hands on your phone. It's right at your nose. You're like, who is this? And then you spend like two hours, and then you figure it out in those two hours. And then you on. find the painting on yeah. her Instagram that's in his apartment. <laughs> That you asked about, <laughs> and he tells and he you lied. his mom painted it. Oh god, that was you the guys, worst thing. This is the real story. That okay. was the worst thing he could have done when she told me that. I was like, no. You, you know what Chris dumbass. said? You know what Chris said? Right away, he goes, "That boy's a player." I was like, I can't tell her that. She loves him, and I'm like, Bree, but I think he's playing you. Should yeah. not be that of a player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's not deserve. He does no. not deserve a pl- to be a player no. with that face and those no. missing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Welcome that's to what Bree I think. Savage McGee. <laughs> Tequila. Well, that's that's what I think about about you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Fourth Mike Tequila has come out. <laughs> you guys, you know what happens when you cheat? You get fucking shit well, on. But you know what? We, oh, we have a you. really fucking cool question on that. Then we've all talked about lying and cheating. What's up? It's MJ. Hey, I'm Bree. We're from the Keeping It Casual podcast. And the IADC crew, Justine. And Brittany. And Scott. <laughs> <laughs> from It's About Damn Crime. Yeah. Hey, hi, hello. This is Ashley Hoover Baker from the On This Day Entertainment podcast. You guys, we are having a live podcast event. The Alternative Babe Show! Woo! It's Saturday, guys. October 26th at 8 p.m. at Pole Fitness Studio. Wear your goddamn costumes! <laughs> <laughs> we have all kinds of fun things. In addition to costume contests, we're going to have giveaways, trivia, everything that your Halloween loving self is craving, pole dancing, comedy, all the drinks, y'all. Sexy babes. It is a live podcast event with three vastly different podcasts. Tell them how much it is. Five dollars. Five dollars. Make you holla. Five dollars. <laughs> Make me holla. If you can't come for five dollars, I mean, come Even on. Even the broke Just, bitches can come for five dollars. Right. Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> I'll come All for right. free. <laughs> Guys, guess what? Don't forget to pick up your tickets at keepingitcasualpodcast.com under the Keep It Casual live show. That's right. It's only five dollars. Come on. And if you rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, you get into our monthly Keep It Casual swag giveaway. Giving away the last Wednesday of every month. Right on. Look forward to seeing you. What lie is forgivable? Oh. When you're going through chemo and your husband tells you you still look beautiful, even though you've lost all your hair. Sure. When your kid draws a picture of a blob and you're like, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love that it. looks just like me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's going on the fridge. Yes. Yeah, but like, I don't know, like, does this dress look nice? Of course, babe. Yeah. 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 All right. 
You guys will get mad if he was lying, but a, a, a respectful lie. Lies are the worst. I, I gotta say, like I've never dated a guy that was a liar. You can see that in people when you start meeting them. The, there's people that have like lies and compulsions. Like that is one of the hardest friendships or relationships to ever have. That's a bad fucking habit, and that is yeah. a scary, mistrustful habit. Lies can fly. What's nope. a forgivable lie you've told a spouse? Ooh. Well, it doesn't have to be Chris. <laughs> Well, that's the only spouse I've ever had. Well, like, you've had other boyfriends, partner. Oh, partner, yeah, I wouldn't. I think a spouse is a husband. Forgivable right? lie. No, I just say spouse as a as a significant other. I don't know. Maybe supporting one of their pipe dreams that you don't believe in. Uh, yeah, I Probably, told my ex yeah. that I thought he was funny. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Like some weird like dream that he has, and you're like, yeah, man, you could do it. Yeah, yeah you sure. could like, totally. Like, I, won't be, I won't be involved in it, but that's cool. <laughs> like you do. Oh, you yeah. do what you got to do. What about if you're feeling jealous about something and you're like, no, it's cool. Like with yeah. the, like holding no, it's back cool the that, you're, that you have this painting in your house. It's cool that you're masturbating to your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's I great. don't mind at all. Oh, it's dude, not weird at all. She's got nice boobs. <laughs> They're okay. great. Well, this girl's really cool. Oh, you, oh, you said she's really cool. Of, of course she like, is. I wish we could be friends. Masking your jealous rage. Is that an okay lie? <laughs> it is in the beginning. <laughs> Sure. It will be for but that one like, time. But when you get comfortable, then that's when you can <laughs> you can bring it out. That's probably the worst feeling in the world is jealousy. When you've let your oh, crazy oh out. Oh, my God. Yeah. I hate being jealous. I, I, you I know to, what? You have to grow out of that. And even you still have little tinges, but it fades away. But honestly, like being young, the, be, the being crazy, growing like the, out of the jealousy yeah. is so hard. That was one of the things that like, I'm effort. not a jealous person. And that was one of the things that I became with my ex. Mm -hmm. And. It made me a fucking crazy person. Yes. And I looked at him one night and I was like, you're making me jealous and you're making me a fucking insane human being. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I, I, I can't remember what he said, but he basically put it back on me. He was like, well, you don't like to feel your feelings. And I was like, no, I fucking don't. But that's beside the point. You don't like to feel these jealous feelings because I'm cheating on you. Do you feel those? You're like, I'm feeling them, but I can't prove it yet. No, but that, <laughs> that was another thing on you when, yeah. when he said, like, you yeah. can't feel like, no, no, no. Like, you're doing something. I, I don't know what's going on, but you're yeah. doing something. I can sense it. Mm -hmm. This and email has brought up a lot of feelings that I've never brought out on the podcast, yeah, guys. Sorry. No, for sure. Like, I no, I can understand because I've been lied to and cheated on. And you that's, have. Oh. Not stupid fucker. That he was, was not dear. cute enough to be doing what he was doing either. And he was short. But, yeah. Like, and he didn't have a good job, let's be honest. He didn't have a, he didn't have a great job. He was okay. But he cheated. Well, I don't want to say cheated because it makes it sound like we're in a relationship and I, we kind of were like in an on and off you were in a relation. You were in enough of a relationship. Sure. Okay. He cheated on you. But yeah, like, but with a person that I knew and that I had to uh, see, see for sure. Like, I had to see this person often. And, how old? Like, how old? It was the worst. And then, like, when I had I to will see elbow him in the head on accident. Well, you probably can because he's probably elbow height. <laughs> 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 So <laughs> easily done. So, bring me around. I'm only just going to come on for a I, hug to you, and I'll <laughs> I can bring. I, I've got the whole like I've choreographed the whole <laughs> accidental but elbow. It's, in it the was head. so awkward having to talk to the person that I knew that they were fucking and that they were together. It was so awkward. Ew. It was horrible. That's disgusting. That's hard, man. But, but and it, when I would ask him like, "Hey, you, you, uh, you, you, what's going on with this this one chick?" Like, oh no, like people are saying that, but just you know, you can't even have like female friends and i'm like who's he goes who said that and i go she did <laughs> you <Yeah>, fucking <laughs> moron <laughs> yeah mine was like and his face like dropped yeah. and i'm like you fucked her <laughs> oh my god my you don't think we're gonna talk we all work together yes like we like we wow. are we are in we are connected <laughs> like, yeah my ex told me he was like she's just thirsty for me it's not a big deal oh that is and weird. i was just like okay i'm gonna believe you but I'm watching her ass, too. You know what? I said the same thing to this guy mm -hmm. where I was like, you know what? You know, you're telling me that you guys are just friends. I'm going to believe you. I believe that you guys are just friends. And he left it at that. He was like, okay. Oh, my God. It is a, like, oh, fucking hell, man. Fuck you, fuck and boys. And, like, the whole time I had, like, this intuition that was like, something is wrong. Yeah, And, like, I would get this, too. like, this sick feeling in my stomach. Me, too. Like, Maybe it's just you like, ha that's probably the hardest thing because when cheaters it's like you got to catch their fucking asses but you, you never do. just but they make tell it, you they make it 
they, they make turn it around right. on they turn, you. Yeah, exactly. They turn it around you and then make you seem crazy. I, and they I, make you second guess yourself. Yeah. Here, here's one thing I've, I've learned after a long time. After, like, in high school, I was crazy jealous, you know, mm-hmm. and a, a hot boyfriend. And but he, you were he young, had a car. too. Yeah, exactly. But that feeling. <laughs> and he I'll had never... a car. That's so high school. He had the car. <laughs> like, you know, good car, too. Like, he had a nice, like, hot, like, brand new car. Um, but, like, I would get jealous and I hated that feeling. It was, like, the worst feeling in the world. For and sure. I remember after that relationship, I was like, I will never let myself be in a relationship like that again. I will never have that feeling and just that ugh, he was controlling, I was jealous. It was just a whole toxic mess, but um what, really? when you're with some yeah. but when you're with somebody that you feel so just confident in, uh, you you may get a little bit like random silly stuff, but when it comes to the core, you don't have that. And I think that's, that's awesome. a true testament to a relationship. Like that jealousy, if somebody's making you feel jealous or anxious Something, or not, that's a huge yeah. or not 100% like just confident, like you don't have to worry about that. That's a good relationship. But yeah. when somebody's making you feel like that a lot, you don't need that. And that's, if you're, that'll you're, give you a big pimple right here. Yeah. And if you're trying to <laughs> to have a conversation about it and you're still not feeling good, mm-hmm. that is a big red flag. Yeah. That yeah. Is like something still isn't right because it's. I mean, you have to follow your gut. What your really relationship sucks is, is feelings. when they pretend like they're this great person, mm-hmm. and then you're starting to feel really crazy about it, and then you start to like kind of lose your self esteem, and it kind of like yeah. starts to go down. It starts to go to shit it's very narcissistic definitely have to say one thing my yes. man does not have social media I yes think he hasn't for years but anybody out there that's feeling crazy for falling down rabbit holes for Don't. like like you can't it's it's setting us up for failure it's, it for really sure. is. are you kidding if there was one if chris got back on social media and there was one random girl that i didn't know that was just like heart face or like yeah, fire, i'd be like what the fuck is this and i would crazy dive real because quick you're like who's this girl you do. why don't and i know her why aren't we friends five of your good the guys you fuck oh my god <laughs> i would be insane. and it's a cycle like, like you guys like i am i am in a whole nother like little area so for you guys to be going through this and just like still being well, fabulous and keeping your head on straight like well, it's a whole new game no, now keeping my head media. on straight in, per, in, in public and private <laughs> no social media can be it's evil yeah. it's, could be the worst you can you can deep dive on on because i've heard that there were apps out there where like people that have businesses can just like use to follow people yeah. to get attention yeah. and stuff and then like you're looking at their stuff and you're like what but, but it's a way i work it. with people but, who use that app but yeah. it's, it's a waste of money because yeah. you know someone in you know india or brazil yeah. or whatever they're not going to care about the product your product yeah. they're not going to care they just care about followers so but, but you got a friend a girl interested and in, yeah like what uh, and not even interested it could just be a random girl and you're yeah. like what the f-? and like this yeah. green demon just like yeah. comes out and you're <laughs> like oh yeah. you demon. look you look ridiculous Damn. because you know you seem insecure dude but like yeah it's, it, it, social media does that and it does so anybody feeling that way and feeling crazy and feeling weird don't be because it's setting you up for it and it's okay don't look at Everybody's don't look at social media because social you're, media? you're gonna find something that you don't want to find i think social media is making you all stronger on a level that you don't even <laughs> understand but it's also reminding you do you have to set boundaries for yourself or otherwise you will fall down these like and then you can't keep, rabbit you, holes you can't you can't be against this is how i, I like would, ignorance is bliss yeah. is gone. No, for sure but like i would have to i would have to remind myself like you you're you can't go against all these people mm-hmm. like you can't be asking well who's this person who's this person why did she like your stuff like, mom she people? sounds like a whore yeah <laughs> what like, is no, that pie with an xo <laughs> no it's 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 just horrible danny d my sister-in-law she must be a slow yeah, right why does your cousin put fire signs on every picture that you know seems like incest yeah <laughs> is that really your cousin she's is that- super hot and single what's going on <laughs> Is she oh, a third God. cousin? Oh, you she is what? your cousin. Oh, are you kissing cousins? Huh. I think I think So you hop for your cousin? On, <laughs> after all this, I think we need to end until we get before we, we get we into need, rapid fire need some and, fun um, notes and then some light notes because we are yeah before we get into rapid fire because, and our because trivia cheating game, like I triggers think, yeah cheating is a trigger for yeah. all of us i think <laughs> sorry sure. guys for sure and you you know what though but um here's the thing all of us bounce back we all stay yes powerful. we do we all stay in in command we all stay in charge so, and to do that we have to keep little things in mind like yeah. that, so you know? i have a self-love question for yes. all of us and i want you our listeners to respond to this too mm-hmm. Actually, I have two. What about you is pretty close to perfect? Oh. My eyeliner. 
You Ooh, damn right. Yes, you do, you do and, some sharp ass wings. And my hair. You do have great yes. hair. Those oh. are my <laughs> You if, if we had to give best hair of the year. Oh, it would totally be go to her. Me. Yeah. I mean yeah. I'm you, not gonna I'm not gonna deny. I gotta say <laughs> no, you do have great hair. I, I got extensions to have good hair, so whatever. I, I gotta say you win. And I also would probably roll it to Paige as well. Paige also has Disney Princess hair. Yes. Yes. We've got yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, MJ. Gonna, oh, that's a, a tough question for me. I don't close to perfect. I don't, I don't know, Everything. man. Just uh, maybe, Everything. maybe my husband. No, you, you personally, something that you love about yourself. I own him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I, said, I, I own, own him. him. I've you, married him. I He's off the, the market. The, the, He's the, mine. I love the delivery. Like I own him. You He's own mine. him. Okay. He's I my like backbone. That, that's, He's that's my strength. So that that's means you power. have a great pussy because you caught the guy. There that you go. So you're a good pussy, guys. Pussy. It's a lot of things. <laughs> um, she gives really good blowjobs, guys. Oh. Actually, I'm the blowjob queen. We know. Yeah, this. I know. <laughs> I thought that was you talking in the third person. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am the blowjob queen. I will be giving classes eventually oh. how to give the proper blowjob. I'll be charging $50 a head. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I get it. I get it. That's another dick joke. <laughs> dick joke. I'm going. I'm hard with the dick jokes today. Okay. Actually, you know what? I like my nose. Yes, I, have a, I have a really good nose. You're mm-hmm. beautiful. You're just beautiful. And my wrist. If you got a good nose. You have small wrist like me. I have little. Yeah. I, li- I love having l- little dainty wrists. And I love my hands, even you though have, I have the weird crooked pinkies. You have nice hands. We were talking about that. And then I said, you do have such nice hands. And then I was like, nails. but look, I have these weird pinkies. And she was, was like, like oh. Chris has those pinkies. I love you so much. <laughs> it's destiny that we're friends. Okay. <laughs> so now we know what we love about ourselves. What is our resolution for tomorrow? Oh. To stop overthinking. Good one. Yes. Three. Because I'm the worst at overthinking. Stop. It's to, to, horrible. Uh, you know what? Tomorrow I am not going to follow fall down social media rabbit holes. Okay. Even if I do in the future, tomorrow I'm not going That's to. That's powerful. Okay. I'm going to um, commit some serious quality time to the fam. Cool. I'm not going to run off to hot Pilates like I want to. Mm. I'm just going to be fat for the day and just Hell like yeah. <laughs> enjoy all of their company and time. That's something you should love about yourself. How much you commit to your fitness. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> that change, your, change your answer. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. Um, I do. Uh, push myself big you time. do yeah and i think that's fabulous i got a, I got a very mo- motivated work hustle there's that's you do that's pretty good you do there you go you want to okay. get into some bougie rapid fire Fuck it, chris yes <laughs> and then okay. and then we'll play uh, butt rock trivia which i'm so stoked for i like when we, she does these trivia games i don't know anything about them okay. so we're playing together. okay and we had to and i call it butt rock but really it's alternative music but <laughs> okay you know, it's butt, butt rock, rock it's some. fine it's fine <laughs> first bougie rapid fire brie i'll go first okay go Are you ready i'm yeah. ready okay but this one's pretty simple. Walmart or Target? Target. Target. Walmart. Except for if, <laughs> well, if I'm grocery shopping, Walmart. I mean, I mean Walmart's Walmart is way, way cheaper. Oh, guys. God. I go to Vons. What? <laughs> okay. There was one time. Smith's. I went or Vons. <laughs> Smith's. Smith, Vons, Albert. Ah. Okay, Albertsons or Smiths? Smiths. Albertsons. Oh, God, you're spending too much on groceries. I know. <laughs> I'm the worst. There was but one, it's just me, so it's like one, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There was one time I went to Target, and all this, like, I picked up stuff that I normally get at Walmart, and I paid almost double the fucking price. I know. And then you got a rocker tee, too, because you can get all the good exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was the problem, is, like, I went to Target to go look at the rocker tees, and I was like, oh, I need to get a few things at the grocery part. <laughs> yeah, the few things at the grocery part. <laughs> was really what made Target expensive. So fuck you, Target. Fuck even though you. I love no, 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 you. No, 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 no. Fuck don't, you, I love you. Don't. Uh, Target's kind of cute, though. They got cute yeah, stuff. Yeah, all right. Especially for Halloween. Yeah. Really? Sephora? Yeah. Okay. Or Ulta? Sephora. Me too. I, I mean, I, I like Ulta, but, but Sephora is superior. Because they have Kat Von D. Oh, yeah. um, Sephora has all the good face creams, but lately it's been more Ulta. You know what? So, it's been more Walmart a lot. You know what? Ulta guys. doesn't carry the foundation <laughs> that I wear, so... So whatever, yeah. I go to Sephora. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, Sephora is the, the only place that carries a foundation that I. All right, yeah. uh, like, and yeah. uh, for our keepers, please uh, join in on this bougie rapid fire. Yes, we love hearing your favorite like cheap Ain't places no to go. Uh, no emails, okay. All right, um, let's see, Apple or Android. Apple, Apple, all the way. Android. I tried an Android. Psychos. I tried an Android too. I tried. Apple is so much easier for me. Yeah, because I had a, I had an Android as a work phone, mm-hmm. and I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just transfer my work phone to my oh. personal phone, and you guys pay the bill, and I'm fine. Wait, and you had a work phone? <laughs> yeah, man. I had like my personal phone and my work phone. I never got horrible. a work phone. Smothered. Okay, this is going to be the hardest question <laughs> ever uh, for me to answer. Fuck my ex-boss. Forever 21 oh, or Charlotte guy. Ruse. 
Oh. Uh, Ooh, depending on the Etsy. deal. Etsy? Etsy. Etsy. Okay. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I got no um, patience for Etsy. I need to be. See, I need well, now. actually, Forever 21. Ooh. Oh, Forever well, 21 no, is very Char- overwhelming. Bruce. Forever 20. Well, not online, though. Okay. I shop online. Um, Charlotte hmm. Ruse, it feels like their clothes are a little cheaper now that they've closed and reopened. Charlotte Ruse for shoes. Charlotte Ruse for shoes. For, Forever for 21 for clothes. And Larissa. Except for jeans. Shout out Larissa. I know. She's the one who told us that Forever 21 filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> she was like, I'm in mourning with you yes. girls. She tweeted at yeah. us and I was like, they better not do what Charlotte Ruse did to me. Thank you, Larissa. I, I was like tweeting something. I was like, here's to, like Forever 21, like calling Charlotte Ruse. Like, hey girl, how did you like get <laughs> out of like all of that? Your financial hole. And then start your story back up. And they're like, straight. She's like, I'm going to call to forever H&M and let them know. <laughs> I got my eye on H&M. I got my eye on I them. love H&M. H&M's good for those pants you pull up to your waist. They're like crazy wild tiger pants. They are the pants. best. <laughs> they're good pajama pants. You know what, though? H&M, like, their sizes used to run small, but now they run too big. I got my size at H&M, and those jeans are way too big for me. Mm. And I was like, thanks, H&M. Yeah, that's, the thing. Like, that's, that's an ego boost right there. I was like, thanks, like, guys. Oh, yeah, man. I'm thanks, coming guys. here forever because their sizes are off. They're like all like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I don't know. Yeah. They're oh, different. God. Exactly. They don't. They're not real. When they're the even, when they're the uh, the odd numbers. You know, like this three, five, seven, yeah. nines. They make you feel worse about yourself. Why is oh that? Oh my God, Walmart's like Why that. Why is that? You know what? Know. You know what's the worst though? Halloween costume if shopping. I, if I put on his, oh, oh, I have sure. done so much work. You guys both have been on this weight loss journey with me. I have done so much work. Yes, I you went have. To fucking spirit Halloween, to buy a costume or a piece for my costume for Britney from It's About Damn Crime. Hey girl. Hey girl. For her, uh, for her birthday party. That fucking costume i bought i had to buy in the size i started off as on my weight loss journey yeah. oh that's cool. and i was like okay hold on a second wrong. <laughs> real quick just side note our girl from it's about damn crime Brittany, is about to have a birthday party and she's she wants um she's about to be dirty 30 dirty Ooh. 30 but she wants to do a uh cartoon cartoon villain villains. theme oh that's yeah. cute i don't even know what to do chris has like an old oscar costume so i figure that'll work but i don't know what i'm gonna do you have a minion costume that's a villain. They followed the villain. That was when I was pregnant with my pregnant overalls. I can't wear that anymore. That's my pregnant We could costume. stuff your belly and make you a pregnant minion. I gave those to my other pregnant Damn. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Damn it. Anyhow, what are you going to be for the cartoon villain? What was your idea? I'm going to be uh, Hades from Hercules. Oh. It's cute. What I, is, I saw a little sneak peek What of would it. you do? Uh, costume, costume, cartoon wise? costume villain. Probably Ursula. Oh, that's what Justine's going to be. She's like, a yeah. fucking boss. What up, Justine? She sent me a... That's Brittany's partner. And yeah. Justine uh, yeah. sent me a little picture of her, um, her, her necklace she made. And I said, I love it, but you can't steal my voice. And she was like, what good are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm very good for other things. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Uber or Lyft? Lyft. Oh, Lyft. Yeah, me too. Lyft. Lyft is cheaper. Yeah. Lyft is why, cheaper, but, but you know what? Lyft, you can... as If you're a female Lyft driver, you can... Uh, select that you only want to pick up female Oh, passengers. see, so they're safer. So they're safer, yeah. yeah. I heard that they don't fuck with your tips as much, too, because one That's of my, true. my driver friends told me about that. Postmates or Grubhub? Dine Dash. Dine Dash. Dine Dash, yeah. I use Grubhub, and that's solely because Grubhub lets you like link up your PayPal and your Venmo to it so I don't have to go dig out my debit card oh, every time. Oh, interesting. Yes. I was doing Postmates for a minute, but I don't know what happened where I, I, I need to tip the person, but I tipped them already. But like when I open the app, it's still probably... To me that tip. I need to tip, and I'm like, well, well, fuck this. I already tipped this person. I'm not gonna, gonna like, tip them again. I'm gonna like, tip them again. Did I tip them? Will they ever know? Will I ever know? Yeah, like, did this really work? I'm like, no, I tipped you already. So, yeah. like, I just deleted that app and went with Diner, what is it, Dine Dash, Diner Dine Dash? Dash? Yeah. I did it Uber Eats once. Chris and I ordered like fa. And you, you paid like a bunch of fucking money for it well no it took like 11 billion minutes like oh. it was forever it was like an no, over you an gotta hour look at the estimated delivery time what's well, at 45 minutes and was over an hour we were like kill no. me now my no, phone no, is no. cold you your know phone was goes. cold you, that's f- awful fo, you just gotta go there so. fuck you, fu- you. <laughs> <laughs> fo show <laughs> there was there was a uh, i i always love seeing all these faux restaurants with like little puns and stuff yeah i think it was like fo show or like what the fuck what the fu- <laughs> that's yeah. cute i yeah. like that yeah fu- you. I like yeah. that. By you. Have you heard any? Um, Send us your thing. faux puns, guys. Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. Come do on. That. <laughs> we're Not gonna start. You. We're gonna start a Vietnamese restaurant because we're all so Asian. Uh, all right. Not. Okay. 
You guys, it's time for Butt Rock Trivia. I butt haven't seen this. I'm excited. Sylvia, are you ready for this? I am. Bree, are you ready for this? I don't think so, but All right, let's ladies. do this shit. We're going to see if Sylvia can answer first. No, uh, hopefully, because I work home. at a rock station right now. Let's do this. All right. Okay. All right, this one's Vegas specific, but I think you'll both know, because you've both worked for both of the stations. What two rock bands were banned on two Las Vegas radio stations? Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit. And... Ooh. I'm looking at you, Brie. You better get this, Sylvia, but I'm looking at you, Brie, because we worked at the same radio station that banned this stupid band. They Weezer? were butt rock. Weezer? No. Incubus. No, that's, oh, that's funny, because that did happen <laughs> that for did a happen. Like, both of them happened. I love, on but our... you know what? They're back on that station now, okay. both bands. But, but let me tell you something. Not even, none of the listeners knew about the Weezer, the Incubus band. That was just a personal grudge against okay. our old boss. Uh, All right, well, never mind. Is this, was this on the first station we worked yes. together? Yes. And we banned them? Yes. Okay. Come on, you know this. I, I won't know this. They're really cheesy and annoying. Nickelback? And hate- yes! Oh, everybody Nickelback. hates them. Everybody hates Nickelback. <laughs> I didn't know Nickelback was Avril banned Levine. from that station. What? I it was a big joke. I don't remember I didn't that. Know that either. They rebranded the station and they're like, we play everything except Nickelback. Oh, <laughs> that's why I got fired right as we play everything oh, came about. So you blocked them all. Yes. I understand. That's how I've done with my old station. <laughs> I don't listen to you anymore. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Which butt rock singer had two bands? One is very hardcore and one is very cool. Corey Taylor. Yes. Corey Taylor. Corey what Taylor. are his two bands? <laughs> Damn. Uh, Stone Sour and Slipknot. Yes. Damn yep. you good. Yes. Yeah. I knew she'd know that. I you know that which butt rock band's lead singer dated Amy Lee of as Evanescence? Uh, uh, the uh, guy from Seether. 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 Yeah. God, Seether. What's his name? Because I'm. Um, bro- I know the song they did together. Nobody cares what his name is. It's okay, not good. Yeah, the lead singer of Seether. Where are they from? Bonus question. Canada. No. No. They're from uh, <laughs> somewhere else weird. Somewhere east uh, from Europe. South Africa. South Africa. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. I know they did Broken with okay. Amy Lee. Because yeah. I'm broken. I'm when pulled I'm the mic Sylvia. Oh, I'll take, take us home. <laughs> I don't Bring us in, Sylvia. Right. I was so excited about that answer. <laughs> when you're gone away. I used to do double stack trivia on the midday show. Yeah. It was my pride and joy. I you love know, that. Except for when the boss would call me like, you said this wrong. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> but you know, uh, so here's a fun fact about Amy Lee. She was taught by Seth Riggs, who is like vocal coach to the stars, who taught mm. mine and Sylvia's voice coach how to teach. <gasps> what? So fun fact about Amy Lee, though, she only used him when she was in the studio. So that's why when you see her live, she sounds like a dying cat. <laughs> she still She's sounds not terrible. I hear you. Sometimes you go live and you're like, this is not happening. Okay, let's do one more. Which three butt rock bands who became pioneers of the grunge awakening uh, were featured in the ni- 1992 movie S- singles? Uh, Chris Cornell. Yes. From? Uh, Soundgarden. Mm-hmm. Nirvana? No. No. Oh, it's in singles. Um, it's okay, someone so from like... Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Eddie Vedder, yep. Anyone from like Tad? One more. No. no. I want to say Mud Honey, but that's not going <laughs> to... No. no. Green River? No. Ah, oh, they were on stage singing... Stone Temple Pilots. I mean, think of your core no. alternative. You've got Soundgarden. You've got Alice Pearl Jam. Alice and Chains. Okay. Yes. Well, you know what? So, so Everybody needs to go I've watch never, singles if you haven't seen yeah. it in yeah. forever or I've never, never seen it. I've never considered Stone Temple Pilots a grunge band but they always got linked in because they came out around the same time yeah because i read scott wyland's book and he was like i wasn't fucking grunge but everybody linked me to grunge yeah. yes you were i am i am i am i mean oh. they were just right there god it, scott they wyland made, they, was they so made sexy. fun of him on snl <sighs> did you ever see that that skit where no uh, they're making fun of him and they were like god, I, I can't even I. explain it right now but like they're making fun of the way he he sings because he talks or it might have been eddie vetter but one of those two. Oh, eddie, eddie vetter, vetter it might have been eddie better very God. easy to make fun of okay. that was my very first concert when i very pearl I, jam just, when i first got into radio i remember like i was on the street team and and my boss patrick what's up he uh he rock like, he rock he was like yo he goes so if you ever want to go to a concert here is the concert list you just put your name i was like seriously i could put my name on any concert and go for free he goes well if there's tickets and i was like okay and i looked i was like pearl jams tomorrow night and I looked at him. I was like, I'm just going to put my name here. And he goes, okay, we'll see how it goes. And he called me like five o'clock the night of the concert. Yeah. He's like, uh, I got two extra tickets to Pearl Jam. You want to go? I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> wow. Free concert I've tickets. Actually, That's what started oh my, my love God. with radio. <laughs> actually, I've never liked Pearl Jam. But I have a funny oh story God. about. Oh, I love we're going to go Pearl back to Jam. Stone Temple Pilots and Going Scott home. Wyland, RIP. <laughs> um, 
So the guy I've been seeing on and off this year, on our first date, I told him the story about how I didn't meet Scott Weiland, but I ran into him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was at the Pearl. Literally. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I literally. Was it, was, was it with him and uh, when he was with the Wildabouts? No. Or was it, it was with Stone Temple it Pilots? It was Stone Temple Pilots okay. reunion tour back in 2007. One of the I went best, to that show, he, they were so They were all sober. It was one of the yeah. best at the Pearl. fucking concerts that I've ever been to amazing fucking show so i'm walking through the, the the palms and i bump into somebody and i was like oh that looks like scott wyland and i just like moved on with my life and then all these people surround him and i went oh that is scott wyland i tell this story to the guy i've been seeing on and off this uh-huh. year and he goes let's talk about the butterfly effect he goes maybe you're the reason why he od'd because you didn't give him any fucking attention and i was like <laughs> he thought about asshole. The whole time. <laughs> oh my god i so when you looked was- at him you're like excuse me well and then funny so <laughs> (laughs) funnier story on top of that he tells me about how uh like two weeks before johnny ramone passed away he was supposed to go with his dad to a ramones concert and then his mom was like you are too young you are not going to a punk rock show because he was like a young kid like a 10 year old at the time Uh and i was like well butterfly effect you killed johnny ramone (laughs) fucker (laughs) oh man i remember when i was uh when i went to scott wyland and the wild about they had a show back at uh, at the pearl yes yeah and i went with an ex boyfriend at the time i don't even know why i dated him <laughs> why did i date him, did I date him? <laughs> but this is like back in 2013 what? i remember i was doing an on stage and i was announcing him i was backstage and i remember there was like people kind of like running around mm-hmm. and they're like it's like scott wyland won't answer his door and like they're just like running around like kind of like in a panic and they're like they like knock on the on the door like like hey, hey scotty scott? they're like scott you, you oh no, oh. And like he wouldn't answer, and I'm like, oh my god, I am. You're like, he's dead, and like I am witnessing a celebrity death right now. <laughs> it was so weird, but like he was he was alive. Like he died oh like god. two years later. But that that was a that was that was a trip. <sighs> That's hilarious. That was, that was a trip. Well, hmm. it's not hilarious. Not not like hilarious like that, but but this right now. <laughs> I found out Scott Weiland died from you, MJ. Really? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hold on, let me finish my cookie. Let me finish my cookie. That's okay. Yeah, I found out Scott Weiland died from you. I remember this. I will never forget this. I was at my ex-boyfriend's house, the codependent alcoholic. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I pick them really good, guys. We were eating Domino's pizza, and we were watching... I can't remember what we were watching, but it was like a cartoon. I wanted to say Rick and Morty, but I had never seen an episode of Rick and Morty. Like, it was way before Rick and Morty had started. But Echo was- has a song called Pickle Rick that has... Rick and Morty clips in it. And that's okay. all I know of Rick and Morty. Shout I, I have a whole Rick and Morty story we'll tell another time. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so it was like it was like some something like Rick and Morty, but not Rick and Morty. Like obviously it was something that wasn't something that stuck with me because I don't even remember what the fuck we were watching. And we were we had a bottle of fucking Evan Williams, the cheap Jack Daniels, and we were drinking that and beer. I feel was, sorry for your day after that. Girl That's why you drink expensive alcohol. You and ever we wondered were, like why am I on, gonna buy the four dollar pop? Let me paint the picture for everybody. We were having Naked Thursday, eating pizza, drinking, and watching cartoons together. Did you see my eyebrows just raised? I was like, Naked Thursdays. I forgot about those. <laughs> <laughs> so we were having Naked Thursday. We, we found out in the evening. It was honestly probably like 10 p.m. I start scrolling through my phone, and I go on Facebook, and I see you post Scott Weiland had passed away. Mm. And he comes out, and I'm crying because I'm drunk and I'm emotional. Oh, God. And he was like, <gasps> what the fuck is wrong? What's wrong? And I was like, Scott Weiland passed away. And he goes, who? That was right there when you knew that this is going to go to shit. And then I had said something about going to see Muse. And he was like, I've never heard of Muse. He's the son Get of a out. fucking rock star. And Get didn't know out. who Scott Weiland or Muse was. <laughs> Done. But Done. I composed myself. I'm still just like sitting in his apartment. I composed myself. I called my dad and I said, Dad, Scott Weiland died. <laughs> <laughs> what did your dad say? He was like, are you kidding me? He was like really bummed Aww. about it too. I love I mean, it. You're dead. Off like, topic, but how sad yeah. were you when uh, Chris Cornell died? Oh, I I was um I, I was I was so bummed. I was shocked. I did a Snapchat about it, and I, I don't think do the Snapchats hardest one about for me anything. Was Chester. Yeah. Well, uh, mm. I will say this: like you, um, you were doing the morning show yeah. on X whenever Chris Cornell died, yep. and you guys did the most beautiful tribute ever. That was hard because I'm I love. I know. Uh, I, I know. That's Chris your Cornell. dude. Like, I, I, I love like grunge and it all that stuff. It hurts your heart. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like when I saw Chris Cornell, I'm like, I d- when, when the celebrity dies, like I don't get like 
too super sad unless it's someone that I really like. But yeah. sometimes love. you don't even expect it. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, and I've like lost it hit me. someone. And like it hit me, and I'm like, oh, yeah. dang, my childhood. Yeah. Like part of it like mm-hmm. died along with Chris Cornell oh. because I remember mm-hmm. watching Black Hole Sun on MTV. Yeah. And I remember like meeting him. Like I skipped uh, school to meet him. <laughs> I love it. And uh, and yeah, like that one. That one hurt. Yeah. That one. Chester. Was a Chester was the hard one for me. Chester Bennington. Yeah. I, I mean, of, of recent ones, like I don't know how old I was when Kurt Cobain died what he, he died in 90, 94 94. 94 yeah i was like 14 i remember okay we're not gonna talk about how old i was yeah but um <laughs> i was younger than 14 you weren't old like, enough to understand like five six you were I, like, was, I was i was old and he died yeah no but i grew like my first album one of my first albums i ever owned was nirvana's never mind mm-hmm. so i mean that's what i grew up on and so uh-huh. when my parents told me Kurt, i wrote nope my parents didn't tell me i was watching M- mtv and kurt, uh, loder, kurt loder. loder told me kurt loder told you kurt, you kurt know what loder. but when when Chester died. That was oh, we. Uh, that was one of my favorite shows of yours. Honestly, yeah, it, it happened at like noon when I was on, and and the the boss came in. And he was like, "Yo, we, Chester Benning." I was like, "Holy shit!" And I just like, honestly, that's one of my proudest shows because I opened up the phone lines for a whole hour and I just played all Lincoln Park songs, and mm-hmm. I was just taking requests from people and they were just like this song and i was like you got it and i was just it was a it was, it was the a most live spontaneous great like great show and people i'm here were for you dedication you show about their mental health it with you was. like it was it was powerful i'm proud of us both for doing yeah. these really incredible shows that you know we were what? Allowed i, like, I want to give sylvia just giving her, some her old morning show um when october one happened that you guys was... did one of the most amazing morning shows that day yeah that was tough because like you, you guys know, didn't play any music we, did, we didn't do any music we didn't do any uh commercial I remember you just talked we just talked we opened the phone lines um, we had one of the news guys come in from like the uh, the news uh, our news stations and uh, they gave us updates and that was basically the the whole show and then like I went down to the blood bank um, to kind of like give people like give you know everybody uh, mm-hmm. like an update of what's what was going on and like the environment and yes seeing the the Las Vegas community come together that day was like really powerful and it was a really beautiful moment yeah that uh that happened we're all like we're getting all emotional guys <laughs> yeah, because it, it hits you like it does you know you're, you're who deep- knew butt rock trivia would turn into this <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, it would turn into the core of what this is what we did for yeah this is what we do for a living it yeah. was just like you know share when you have to share current events when you when it goes from like your fun news like hey we're just here djs playing the music and all of a sudden something real happens like a, a like one of the biggest core artists death or like or like one fucking, october like one october was so insane to be a you have to go Go on air and be yeah. like, you know, it's it's, All right. it's fun. We're going to talk about the news today. Yeah, it's, it's fun to talk about like you know fart jokes and like stupid news and anything like that. But when, when you, you know, got to do it, when, when you got to yeah. when it's when it's time to to do it, like. There, there's a uh, you know like Chris Cornell dying like we're hurting with you because mm. this is also hurting us. One October was that's that's a whole community. That's a whole community, I, and you know we're right there with you. Yeah. So that I, was that I was, can't even I get in chills just even talking or thinking about it again. I'm on my period, guys. This is not gonna, <laughs> oh, no. I can't talk anymore about you this. You know what, though? Like, I will never forget driving into work the next morning. And it was just, it was so dead everywhere. But, like, I, I was so offended at, <laughs> this is so bad. But, like, to me, it was like the world needed to stop for a day. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. It did. But, like, anytime somebody came in, business as usual, to, like, pick up your tickets, I was like, what's wrong with They're you? Like, you should be at home. You should be watching the news. You should be doing why aren't this. You, why aren't you with your family right now? Yeah. yeah. You should... Your tickets will be here on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that was, that was um, that's the big challenge with radio, I think, because we're not, we're not, like, television news reporters. We're, like, they're used to reporting real news every day. Yeah. Yeah. And also adding a little, if you can add a little bit of dash of like lightheartedness or Jason some kind Feinberg. of something. <laughs> hey, shout out to Fox 5 shout Morning to Show. Okay. Sorry. I'm so, I shout miss Monica, to- but Jason and Monica, they always, they would talk about the serious stuff and then they Dude. would just have me crack it up. Yeah, What's like up? shout out to the Morning Show news reporters that can do that because when you're on radio, it's all like music and fun and stuff like that. But when yeah. the real shit happens, that's the test of like, what are you going to do when yeah. you crack the mic? And mm-hmm. I think and, uh, and how real of a broadcast are you? Shout out to 
you. you my girlfriend yeah because yeah. and you know what we've been through some real shit as on much air as, mm-hmm. as much as you not two, cool oh, i mean we gotta give a shout out to all the stations that day like even sean tempesta he was at a golden knights game and left the game to go to the station and report yeah, oh yeah a lot of, a PDs, lot of them did even uh, the PDs, ransom 1027 the coyote yeah. who is a country he was there i think a good friend of us there and left there early yeah he left to like go and cut a commercial remember he he was telling us this he was like i had to go cut a commercial randomly that i had forgotten about he left early he left early he was supposed to be there yeah like oh we you know what guys oh we can't even like but you know what i want to give a shout out to all the pds that day because they went in and changed all the music Mm -hmm. to make it fit (sighs) the day and you know what i think we just need to take a moment because we're i'll just kind of say it we're recording this on the fourth it's only a few days after the two-year anniversary Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the wounds are still there for yeah. all of us. Absolutely. Especially sure. because all of us that year, we were, we, all three of us, were all at Life is Beautiful Soundhouse mm-hmm. that year. And that was and like it's, the it's predictive place it should have been. Well, that, yeah, because exactly. that's where his original vantage point was. We were right across the street. Yeah. And he, that's a scary Our thought. angels yeah. were with us that day. But, you know, for for a lot of people listening, there could be people out there listening that did lose somebody there. Yeah. Or they knew people that were there and were injured or hurt. Just It affected all of us. So, <laughs> you know, Vegas strong forever. And Hell yeah. Whew. We're gonna have yeah. to ease on out of this. You know what? We've we've been known for like talking about a lot of deep shit and also masturbating in the same episode. So this is kind of <laughs> how we keep it casual well, because we, we sit around the fire pit. <laughs> we have a conversation with some really incredible people, and we just mm-hmm. want to uh, share with you and relate with you. So yeah. Sylvia, we just appreciate you being here because you're oh. a gorgeous, beautiful babe. I am one of my best so friends in the world, and we've been wanting to have you on forever. But you know, <laughs> well, I was I left the station uh, six months prior to her. So when soon oh, as the true. time was up, it's like, <laughs> let's book it, babe. <laughs> book it. No, book I it. had so much fun with you guys. So yeah. thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for and having me. And we had so much fun at that station. You know, it's like time time and uh, opportunities move you on in different for different sure. ways. And I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not bitter. You know, you might still be going through the process. But it took me some time to, like, get yeah. fired and to be okay with, like, all right, well, I'm here now, and it's fine. You know, like, the I didn't really keeps, have... The world keeps turning. I would have kept staying at that job and doing my thing, but for them to, like, just decide that we don't want you here anymore, and it's pushed me in another direction, I'm okay you with You know it what? Now. Honestly, fine with here's it. the thing. If you were still there, I bet you we wouldn't have interviewed fucking Maite. Girl, Maite Garcia, Prince's first wife, the most incredible, beautiful soul that we have met in a long time. Just our new best friend. Maite, she follows me on Instagram. Sorry, you're our new best friend now, Maite. But like, she just, she came on last week with us and just, you know, people that, people have been coming into our mm-hmm. life and just like lighting it up and just mm-hmm. like bringing more rich uh, perspectives to all of our keepers yeah. and stuff. When one so. thing closes it opens up a whole yeah. new, a whole new possibility. Thing. One of the things even I if call- you're holding on to something mm-hmm. that you lost and you're yeah. like, I can't get it back, and you can't like, you're so frustrated because you're like, oh, I just want this back so bad, but I I can't figure it out. It's okay, let it go because let it go. something is gonna come on. Let it you know? go. Yeah. You know, one of the things Elsa that- taught us anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that I constantly I, I I tell this to MJ like I I honestly feel like I say it once a week to you when we get into our deep uh, late night conversations on the phone is like if the beginning of the year hadn't happened to us and kicked us on our asses, we would have never done a sold out live show. Mm-hmm. We would have never, you know, we would have never got our asses into gear and be where we are with this podcast right now. And I think even like mentally where well, we are right well, now. Well, who doesn't love a comeback? You know, yes. it's like some people stuck in the same thing over there and they're probably just wondering like, man, I kind of want to, I want a moment to like have my comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, bitches? All three of us had comebacks this year. <laughs> we all did. Jealous. And let's leave it on the note. Actually, you know Hashtag what? Please be jealous. <laughs> send um send your comeback stories to feedback at keepingitcasualpodcast.com. Girl, I, that is a self love challenge right there. Like just self-love. remember a moment when you were like, I felt so down, but the comeback was so sweet. I love it. The comeback is always so sweet. And guess what? When the person that harmed you gets their karma and you get to watch it. Also sweet. It's also <laughs> very sweet. Whatever comeback means to you, email us, feedback, keeping a casual podcast. And you know what? We're about to do a live show. So maybe the three of us can tell a good comeback story <gasps> oh, if you, you email go. it. Yeah. And you could, if you come to the live show and you got a comeback story, you can come on stage with us. That's yes. it. Oh, that's good. $5. Too. Uh, by the way, BT Dubs, uh, Saturday, October 26th, Halloween party, Pulp Fitness Studio. Five bucks. Eight o'clock. 
Sylvia's hosting. You get to meet Sylvia. Sylvia's hosting. You just had her on like, the stage come entertainment. Take a picture with her. It's about damn crime. Us. We'll be there. Sylvia will let you like loop her hair over your head so you can see what <laughs> yeah, you look you like in her hair. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, oh, that, that is fine. Long and gorgeous. Brunette, long, thick hair. <laughs> is that Fantastic. long and gorgeous? And I, do have, I, I do I do. want to do like one more round of butt rock yeah. questions. Yeah. Okay, another butt rock question. We, Let's got, do it. I got one last one that we didn't Let's even do. do. It. Okay. Let's do it's, it. It's a fast and friendly one. All right. Which okay. two butt rock bands wore masks? Go. Slipknot <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Juggle, the uh, Hollywood insane. Undead. Yeah, Hollywood and but insane clown posse. Insane clown, insane clown posse. posse is what I think. Hollywood dead. Bonus question. I love it. I love it. They only had like one song. I know. I know. Okay, and- I have the whole story about Hollywood Undead hitting on me back in the MySpace days, like oh, a few God. of the guys from Hollywood Undead back in my groupie <laughs> days. So, oh man, <laughs> that's why my mind went there immediately. I never fucked anybody from Hollywood Undead, though. I want to throw it out there. I don't fuck guys who wear masks. Uh, I gotta <laughs> say that Corey Taylor should never put a mask on. No, no he's a good looking guy. He's a very he good looking guy. Thick ass hot. neck. But god dang, he's a good looking Corey guy. Corey Taylor is fine. Why am I like? I, I have that. <laughs> you guys, I have I'll this say stupid that Hollywood Undead store, song stuck in my head. Which one? You better get about the way. Uh, Brie so emo. I love her. <laughs> Listen, when I originally wanted to do butt rock trivia with you, uh. is because I was thinking of like butt rock bands like Gore and Warrant and like stuff from the mid. And She's I was like, like, you better no. get with it. Butt rock is mid nineties. I was like, oh, but I, I was love, like, it's like Nickelback. I, Come I on would now. Never That's call rock. like core alternative music butt rock. It's but so bad. Like. Like, we just did it for and fun. And I was like, Hailstorm? Because, like, I respect Jam. it too much. Because, like, Pearl Jam is considered, like, dad rock now. And it, yeah. it kind of makes me cringe. And I'm like, no. But that was only, like, oh, my God. It's only, well, almost 30 years old. That's, like, when somebody would call and he was like, hey. You could tell he was, like, really young. He's yeah. like, I want to request a song. I was like, okay. He's like, do you play, like, classic alternative? I was like, well, what do you consider classic alternative? He's like, you know, like, Smashing Pumpkins, Linkin Park. And I was like, no. what? Like, Linkin Park. Pumpkins? I know. Like, Linkin but Park. Then you, and then you think, you. Um, then you think, like, holy shit, like, Linkin Park was basically. <laughs> Early two- 20 years ago. I was like, yeah. how old are you? He's like, I'm 12. I was like, what are you What are you calling at 1030 in the morning for? He's like, well, I'm old school. I was like, all right, respect. You're listening, <laughs> doing homeschool. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I remember, like, I was probably in seventh or eighth grade when Linkin Park put out their, like, not their hybrid first theory. album, but hybrid theory. Yeah. Jeez. I was in the eighth grade. Yeah. I was in high school getting... Sex. That makes sense. You were in high school. I was in eighth grade. I was about to be in high school. That's but- sex music to me. Let me think of like when you're like, when you have music that was introduced to you during sex, it's already like cool and grown. Oh. I guess. <laughs> like- I'm trying to think of music that was introduced. Um, Explosions in the Sky, which is like an all instrumental, really cool band. That's something that was introduced to me during sex. Um, Oh. <laughs> during sex what's a fun song okay if if you guys don't want to answer this we can cut this but (laughs) song you were listening to when you lost your virginity oh mark ellie is it listening to any music karma police by uh (laughs) by fucking radiohead that is my lost your virginity song bump and grind (laughs) i don't see no was it really Damn, she had the freaky <laughs> shit on. I was listening to Karma Police. You were listening to nothing. Uh, no, we weren't. We weren't doing anything. You were, you were just sitting there in silence and no, had like, sex. I mean, no, no, I mean, no. I mean, you were talking a, to each other, but no, like, it wasn't was no, a music kind of guy. I don't remember. There was doing... no TV on. Nothing. No. God, were you it... singing a song in your head? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was when just like, I oh, this is awesome. This is great. You, I touch <laughs> myself. <laughs> no, I didn't. Like, no. I remember the first time not being awesome and great. It was just like, let's do this so I can say I did it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how I was, too. My first time wasn't awesome and great. It was just kind of like, I, I, we did it, and I was like, oh, that's it? I hope it's always not going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, basically, I was like, that's what the hype's about. And then I realized later on that sex is amazing. But like after the first time, I was like, "You're like, huh?" No, after after mine, I was like, oh, "Okay." She's like, "I want more of this," like, and I was oh. just like, "Oh, this is I'm I'm, I'm like everyone else now." Okay, I've, I've heard it takes two or three times to feel good. <laughs> That's the truth. God. <laughs> you're like, okay, this is cool. It All is right. about the truth. Like, the uh, third time you're like, All right, I'm a freak now. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's too, <laughs> too long ago. I just remember my friend. She's like, it takes like two or three times to feel really good. She's pregnant. You're like, okay, God. Dude, I don't know. 
Anyhow, oh, oh, oh god, you guys, we got to get out of here. We do. Right. You know what? We got cookies to eat, guys. <laughs> we, we do got cookies. cookies to eat. An angry orchard to drink. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah we do. Please send us your comeback stories, man, because that was our favorite. Send yes. the comeback stories. Yes, but, uh, uh, but Instagram yeah. and Twitter at it's the Sylvia. It's the Sylvia. It is the Sylvia, guys. Yeah. S Y L V I A. Oh yes. You know we do name every guest episode a, uh, after a song title, but and there is a song title called Sylvia. But is it really? I've never heard it. Okay, yeah, there is. But um, I know some of your favorite bands. So when I'm editing it, this song title will unfold. You I'm guys. very excited. You know for what? This. I'm kind of. I'm thinking... really upset in this episode. We didn't tell our muse story. Yeah. Well, do then... we have time? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, uh, yeah. we keep trying to end this episode, but I just got to tell you how embarrassing <laughs> Sylvia and I are. Okay, we're going to go. But well, you then. went first. You went first. I was very embarrassing. Yeah. We're both very embarrassing They both human met beings. their favorite band, Muse, at the <gasps> meet and greet. I am, like, a huge Muse fan. Like, I've been, like, all over their music since I was probably 14, 15. Can we preface this, though, with I met them how, three years ago. Sorry, how, guys. Yeah, I remember <laughs> when you met them. You you got me tickets for that show. Yeah. Can I, can I preface this with how our meet and greets normally go versus how this one went? Hmm. You know how our meet and greets normally go with that station. We had a uh, old co-worker who would be like, in, out, do this. That's right. Do, do, All right. Oh. No pictures. Just say hello and then go. 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 Oh, flashbacks. We yeah. all know who I'm talking about, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I forgot. I'm expecting this meet and greet to go as such. I didn't go to a lot of meet and greets just because I didn't feel like dealing with go, 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 mm-hmm. go, go. You're like, this isn't even a meet and greet. This is like a... Yo, yo, just a little. Am I doing? Am I doing football drills here? If anybody like, from the old doing? station is listening, when you, when a, when a winner li- wins a, a meet and greet with the person, don't make them feel like they can't touch or look in the eye or say hello to somebody. Yeah, they're like, give me your cell phone and your purse. You're not allowed to talk to them or take a picture. Another, like, give them a moment. No selfies. Just... Do not laugh at them. Do not smile at yeah. them. Yeah, you make you do ruin not it. Breathe. You guys ruin it. <laughs> Be cool. You better have a blue face by the time Be you. Be cool, get up man. This is this is the moment of some people's lives. Yeah. So. We <laughs> don't make them feel I'm like I'm used to these jerks. meet and greets. And so we get to the meet and greet. And Sylvia's like, you go first. And I was like, uh-uh. And she was like, go first. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we looked being selfish. Like, we, I wanted this by myself. And like, <laughs> just do it yourself. And then like, let me have my moment. <laughs> we looked really hot that night, though. I will give us that. We both looked very hot. Yeah. Go first. And I was like, you were like, go first. And I was like, well, you are. I am your guest. So I guess I was I'll very adamant first. about like, go first. She was. She was like, go first. This is do? my life dream. <laughs> this is my <laughs> moment. And I was like. Oh, Brandy, oh, just do it. <laughs> Got you. I will go first. So I went first. I didn't play around, man. Like I didn't play around with Muse. <laughs> she didn't. So I went first. And I'm used to uh, do not talk to them, do not look at them, do not smile at them, do not giggle at them. So I like go straight for the picture. And Matt Bellamy says to me, oh, you're going in straight for the photo, eh? And I was like, ha, 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 yeah. <laughs> take two pictures uh, and he was like he looked at me all confused he was like okay well have a good night and i was like i bowed at him i put my hands what? together in a praying motion and like, bowed Kanye. at them i bowed at them and i said you guys are my favorite band i will buy and ran uh, off he's like what an excited girl what an exciting <laughs> no, I, I don't think mine was like that's bad no like no. i went up to them and like i had this whole like this thing I was going to, like, this whole little speech I was going to say, I was going to say, hi, my name is Sylvia. I've been a fan since, you know, <laughs> or Origin of Symmetry. Um, and, you know, I, I love you, Matt Bellamy, as a you singer. You drop their mixtape album. Yeah, you're like, like, oh, like your the B-sides. <laughs> like, I love your B-sides. Like, yeah. I've downloaded every song. I watched that one YouTube video that only has 323 views. <laughs> <laughs> like, very specific. Like, I was, like, I had a thing that I was going to say to them. She was ready. And I was ready. And then I saw them and, like, everything just erased from my mind because I was like, I'm seeing these people that I've had, like, you know, like, I've, I've had so much respect for for, like, what, 10, 15 years. And all I could say was, Hi, my name is Sylvia. Hi, my name is Sylvia. I look to each member. Hi, my At name least is you Sylvia. said your name. And like, we took, we took <laughs> I didn't pic- even get that like, far. I wanted to hug them, but I was like, I don't know if this is like stepping the line. So I'm just going to take a picture and then I, give they, him the hard elbow shake. Like, don't yeah, even pull me in for a yeah, hug. And just then, like I'm oh, setting the man, boundary. Like, hey, 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 hey. I was like, <laughs> fucking hell. Like, I don't think I'll ever have that moment again. But I have a picture. <laughs> and like the only the only thing that was really, really like nervous about was like if I was going to have like a stupid face. But like, looked, I, wait a minute. I looked at the picture. I was like, oh, it's not that bad. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, but I got to throw you under the bus. You did come back to me crying. So Yeah, I was. I was. She, she was so like, excited. I didn't I was say so anything excited. to them. And I'm like, I didn't say anything to them. 
and uh, our, our, an ex coworker's like, "What did you like? What happened?" I'm like, "I didn't say anything." <laughs> <laughs> and then and you were just so overwhelmed and excited. Made fun of us for being so excited for meeting our favorite band. Well, yeah. you know what? I, it has. Said ex coworker also was like, "Well, I actually got really emotional meeting my favorite artist last." A well, few see, days ago, like it happened. and we like, were just like, I, we just looked at her, and she was just like, "But it's funny that you guys are doing it right now." We're no, like, I, I, when I saw Blondie with Chris, um, I was stand. We we're in the nosebleeds too, and I was standing. Oh, she Blondie came on with, stage, uh, and I was like, "Garbage." I was like, huh, huh. "Yeah." He goes, "Are yeah. you crying?" I was like, "Shut <laughs> up!" <laughs> like, no, uh, I, I cried. I cried when I saw No Doubts reunion tour. Oh yeah, oh, of course. it happens. It, it hits you just like when a celebrity death or something oh. weird, and you're just like, I don't even because know why. because you kind of like. You relate. Yeah, you, you feel. You re- you relate You're to them, right. but you also like you you make them part of your life. Yeah. Well, so, and like, when it's somebody like Gwen Stefani, who I've listened to since the uh, Bacon Street Collection, and I was I don't even know I was the mixtape. Young. <laughs> I was young. B sides. Yeah. No, but I was. I listened to all the B sides. <laughs> I was so young because I they, well, Tragic Kingdom came out when I was in like the fourth or fifth grade. So Bacon yeah. Street Collection, I must have been in second grade with Tragic. <laughs> Box of tremendous yeah. size. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. so <laughs> when uh when yeah uh, yeah, uh, we so, to wrap, yeah yeah we do. Well, let me finish this. So yeah, she comes out and they start like as soon as she starts singing, I'm like crying, and then she's like, I recognize. She's like pointing at people in the front row. She's like, I recognize you guys from the Anaheim show. And she gets in the audience and she starts taking selfies with them. And I was like, Why are you the most perfect woman on the planet, Gwen she Stefani? Is. She's she is. Gwen Stefani. Yeah, I love you, Gwen. Queen. One yep. day we'll have her on the podcast. <laughs> it's already sold out. We're gonna have Gwen Stefani and Courtney Love. I've already decided. Oh, Courtney Love, Love manifestation, a lot of it. We do that hey, a lot. We here. do that a lot yeah. on here. We do that a lot around here. We ma- we manifested <laughs> our sold out first show. So now, yeah. ever since then, we're like, we're just gonna manifest everything, That's and it's why gonna happen. If we have a good idea, we say, well, it's already sold out. It's already sold out. We manifested that oh, shit. Dang. All right. Well, then, like Courtney Love is just gonna. It's already sold out. It's her. You're going to do like a live show and it's going to have Courtney Love and it's sold out. And she's going to so perform acoustic. She's going to roast us. She's going to she be so difficult. She gave me a flower once. She loves me. What? She gave you a flower? I never told you this story. Okay. So she played the Hard Rock Pool a few years ago and I went and it was one of those free open bar shows. I remember she played vinyl. No, she played vinyl a few years before that. But then after that, when she was touring with Lana Del Rey, she played the Hard Rock Pool. (gasps) I went by myself because nobody wanted to go see Courtney Love with me. And I was like, I'm fucking going. Fuck all y'all. I'm going to see Courtney Love. I went by myself. And I was front row center stage. And she was singing me the whole time. And she brought out a bouquet of flowers. And she gave me a red rose. That rose sat in my old car for probably three years until somebody threw it away. And I don't remember who threw it away, but I was pissed when they threw it away. I'm no. feeling that weird feeling I haven't felt since high school. What's it called? Jealous rage. Jealous rage. <laughs> Jealous rage. <laughs> Not sure how I can control this, but I'm feeling it right now. I'm having a feeling and I want to pull your butt out. <laughs> It's extension, so you can pull the clip out. The clip ins out. Oh I my god, care. you guys, we've got to wrap. We, we do. Wrap. All right. Wrap. Well, I had so much fun. Thank you guys oh for having god. me. Thank you. It's the fucking best, you guys. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. Bye. Girl, that was fun. Yeah, another fun conversation with you. Yes. If you have any feedback, email us feedback at keepingacasualpodcast.com. My Twitter is Bremixed, B R E E M I X E D. And I'm at MJ Radio Diva, any social platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Keeping It Casual Podcast. You get to see live videos, silly little photos of us, mm-hmm. all the dumb photos that we talk about. Anything yes. photo wise we talk about in the episode, it'll be there. We look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> we'll be back with more uh, gossip about nothing and everything. Bye. Bye.